There's not one complete yet. So they'll have a drawer on the bottom for all of their war bag and all that stuff that they take with them. There's a bench on the front for each one and then the locker will start here and be six feet tall. Um, each, each locker will have an electrical outlet in it for charging all of their flashlights and batteries and all that. Everything we use now is rechargeable. So instead of having a monstrosity octopus of, of extension cords and stuff being plugged in, they'll be able to charge all of their stuff in their individual lockers. So everyone will have its own electrical outlet. And we like these because you can sit in front of your own locker and put your boots on and stuff rather than dragging benches all over the place. So, and the, and the lockers weren't any more expensive than, than the others. So, these are very nice, very, you know, very nice system for us to have here. And there's about 149 in the male uh, locker room and another 49 in the female locker room. So it'll take us, you know, right now we got 98 sworn. Now we got to have 200 lockers. So we did plan for, you know, growth well into the future. The gym we have at RPG right now is about 50 square feet. <laughs> Literally. So, um, we're actually taking most of the, the equipment that we have at the police department actually was purchased and is owned by the Reading Police Officers Association. So we're bringing, it's still in good working condition, we're bringing some of that over here and then we're probably going to use a little bit of asset seizure dollars to buy some equipment that we don't have. So it'll be real simple, we're going to have some benches and some cages on this side so guys can squat, bench press, that kind of stuff. Um, we have an existing cable crossover that's in the police department right now that goes that in with a lot pull down low cable row machine. We're going to purchase uh, an elliptical rower and a treadmill. So give the guys a place to uh, work out and stay in shape, which is important for cops. Got epoxy not slipping on all these common walk areas. Um, number one, it's cheaper. Number two, it, uh, you can actually clean it. You can pine salt it, pine salt carpet. Um, and we keep the building nice and clean. This will be a, a really nice morale boost for the guys when we actually move into this building. It's way past its prime. It's degraded, and, and it'll be nice to have a new facility that actually was designed to be a police facility that meets our needs.